Hey everyone, Ilda here from I Love Doing All Things Crafty and welcome back to my 2017 holiday card series. Today I'm going to show you how I created the suspended swing card featuring my favorite things handwritten holiday stamp set. To create the bokeh effect, I needed to create a stencil first. To do that, I took a plastic divider and cut it in half, then randomly placed some circle dies on it and run it through my Sizzix machine a few times. As you can see, the dies didn't go all the way through, and I'm just going to take my pen blade and finish cutting these circles out. This plastic divider was quite thick, and alternatively, you could probably use an acetate sheet to do the same thing. For some reason, I could not find my smaller circle dies, so I ended up using my crocodile to punch a smaller hole out. To create my bokeh effect, I'm just going to use my metallic inks and just use a finger dauber and blend them out in each circle. And then I'm just going to be rotating the um, stencil and placing it in various places on the background, alternating inks to give it that bokeh effect. I also take a baby wipe and wipe in between each ink. To create my ornament, I'm using some heavyweight metallic cardstock and I just use a circle die to cut it out. To make sure I get a good impression, I'm going to use my stamp positioner as this paper isn't very conducive to ink, so this way I have a better chance of getting a good impression. To heat set the embossing powder, I'm going to add some rolled up washi tape to the back of the ornament and set it on this small wooden bamboo cutting board and apply my heat. But as you saw right there, the metallic paper curled right up and lifted right off the board. It's funny how some papers react differently to heat. To create the top of my ornament, I used the My Favorite Thing Stitch Mini Scalloped Rectangle and I'll trim it to create the front top and the back top of the ornament. Before gluing the top pieces of the ornament on, I'm going to take some foil thread and uh, quadruple it up, I guess. Then I'm going to take the thread and sandwich it in between the two top pieces and bringing the remainder of the thread and taping it to the back of the ornament. To keep this fine thread together, I did give it a knot at the top, making it easier for me to stretch it out. You want to make sure you leave long enough thread for the top and for the bottom of the card. To 
So here I'm kind of eyeballing where I want the center of the ornament to sit on the card and I'm taking a poke tool and just making a hole right in the center where I'm going to be fishing the thread through. Before I fish my thread through I'm just going to add some tape to the back of the ornament and this will ensure that the ornament swings from the center of the card. Before adhering the thread to the back of the panel, you want to make sure you leave enough slack for the ornament to swing back and forth without going over the edges of the card too much. Next, you'll want to adhere the top of the thread to the center of the panel. Before taping that top thread down, you'll want to see how low you want the ornament to sit on the front of the card to keep my thread from accidentally pulling through the front, I'm just going to bend back the uh, thread and add another piece of tape to secure the ends. And that's pretty much it for today's process video. I hope you've enjoyed watching me make this suspended swing ornament card and are inspired to create your own bokeh effect backgrounds. As usual, I will have all the supplies linked below in the video description. Thank you all for watching and until next time everyone, happy crafting. Bye!